Hey there YouTubers, this is Nanashi again with yet another deck profile video. This time I will be showcasing my Psychic deck. Psychics are a slightly newer type of monster that just came out recently, and I personally love them to death. Let's get started. I run two Psychic Jumpers. Uh, this is a two-star tuner. Once per turn, you can pay a thousand points and select a face-up monster you control. It has to be Psychic, and a monster your opponent controls and you get to manually swap them. And their battle positions can't be changed this turn except with a card effect, but I don't think it's really going to matter that much. Also, the monster that you give up cannot be Psychic Jumper, as fun as that would be. Next, we have a pair of Time Escapers, level 2 effect monsters. Well, you can drop it from your hand to banish a Psychic monster on your side of the field until the next standby phase, and it can be played during either player's turn. So, Mirror Force, Dark Hole, Torrential Tribute, these would be the things to save your monster from with this. Then we have a pair of Creebons. Very annoying two-star tuner. Uh, you can pay 800 points and negate a battle with this monster. One Esper Girl, a level two-star tuner. Uh, when this monster is removed from play and then special summoned, the top card of your deck is removed from play space down. And then when this card is sent from the field to the grave, that card's added to your hand. I have a pair of Psychic Commanders, 3-star tuner. I don't use its effect too often, but it is handy. Um, when a Psychic Monster battles during the damage step, I can pay life points in multiples of 100 to a maximum of 500 to have that, mon that, have that monster that my Psychic's battling lose that many points. I also have a pair of Serene Psychic Witches. The searcher of the deck. Uh, when it's destroyed and sent to the grave, battle or card effect, you can remove from play a psychic in your deck with 2,000 or less attack, and then during your next standby phase, you special summon it. Favorite target to use this on, of course, is Esper Girl, because she's just the draw engine. Then I have three hushed psychic clerics, three star non tuner, uh, zero attack, 2100 defense. When it's normal summoned, you switch it to defense mode. Or flip summon for that matter. Once per turn, you can draw a card from your hand to the grave and remove from play a psychic in your grave. If this card goes from the field to the grave, that psychic special summoned. Two Destructotrons, level 4 monster. Uh, if it, at the end phase you don't have a psychic on the field except him, he self destructs. And once per well, actually, not even once per turn, you can pay a grand and destroy a set spell trap your opponent controls. Handy. Then I have a pair of Silent Psychic Wizards, much like a Psychic Cleric, uh, when it's, it removes a Psychic Monster from play, and then when it leaves the field and goes to the grave, that Psychic Monster is summoned. But its effect activates when it's normal summoned and does not have any other cost. And it's also 1900. Handy. Then I have a pair of Overdrive Teleporters. Bit of risky business with this one. Um, when it's normal summoned, you can pay 2,000 points and special summon a pair of level 3 psychics from your deck, and it can't be special summoned. So, I have two, but I only use one per game, because otherwise I would end up paying more points than I'd care to. Moving into the spells, we also have a Dark Hole. We have an M three MSTs. We have two telekinetic power wells. Uh, at the cost of 300 points a star, you can special summon any number of level 2 or lower psychics from your grave. And it's a quick play spell, so you can play it during your opponent's turn. A pair of psychic paths. You can pay 800 life points and select up to two of your remove from play psychics and add them back to your hand. So yeah, removal just gives you more hand advantage in this case. I also have three emergency teleports. Handy little spell. Quick play, uh, you can special summon one level three or lower psychic from your hand or deck, and during the end phase of this turn, that monster is removed from play. Traps, I have a compulsory, I have a mirror force, I have a torrential tribute, and I have a bottomless. I also have a pair of mind over matter. If I happen to have an abundance of psychics, this card comes in very handy. It says that you contribute a psychic type monster you control to negate the spell, trap, 
normal, or special summon of a monster. And that card's destroyed. This card is a counter trap, which makes it the Horn of Heaven of the deck. And then, for refill, I have three Psychic Overloads. If you have three or more Psychics in the grave, you can add three of them from your grave to your deck, shuffle, and then draw two cards. It's the Pot of Avarice of the deck. And I'm very proud to say that, considering Pot of Avarice is banned right now. Moving right along to the side, we have a Psy Beast. When this monster is normal summoned, I can remove from play a Psychic monster from my deck, and this card's level becomes the level of that monster. So it's very easy to use, to bait out monsters to use for that spell card that just adds them right back to your hand. I have another Esper Girl, and I have a Rise Bell the Star Adjuster. Uh, when this card is special summoned, I can target a monster I control, and, well, not even one I control, my opponent too, increase its level by up to three until the end phase. Then I have a Psychic Commander, I have a Serene Psychic Witch, I have a Genetic Woman, who has the same effect as that spell card, except you pay 1,000 points, select one of your removed from play Psychics. I mainly run her because she's a 4-star Psychic, and her effect isn't the worst, but it's not that good. I also have a pair of Psychic Emperors. I ran these before Overdrive Teleporters because I needed point advantage, but this deck slowly found a way around that. Uh, when it's normal or special summoned, I gain 500 points for each Psychic monster in my graveyard, and that's 500 life points. If it's been a long game, this card can give me a lot of points. I also have another Telekinetic Power Well. I have three copies of Rainbow Life. This deck used to be all about the life points, and when it was, this card was very handy. By dropping a card from my hand, for the rest of this turn, whenever I would take battle damage, I would gain that amount of life points instead. And, of course, I have three Memory Loss. If an attack position monster my opponent has activates an effect, it's negated, and it goes to defense mode. And then, moving on, we have the extra. Starting off, we have a pair of magical androids. Uh, requires a tuner and one or more non. During my end phase, I gain 600 points for each face of Psychic I control. I have an HTS Psyhemoth. It's the DD Warrior Lady of the deck. Requires a tuner and one or more non. After damage calc, if this card battles an opponent's monster, I can banish that monster and this monster. I also have a pair of Psychic Nightmares. This one's a very battle-oriented card, and I love them to death. Uh, tuner, one or more non-tuner Psychics. Once per turn, during your main phase, you can pick a random card in your my opponent's hand and declare if it's a monster, spell, or trap. If you're right, this monster gains a thousand attack until your opponent's end phase. So it automatically becomes 3400 if you just happen to take a lucky guess, or if they're one of those decks that happens to add a lot. Next up, we have a pair of Psychic Life Trancers. Uh, tuner and one or more nine. And once per turn, you can remove from play a Psychic in the grave to gain 1,200 life points. Very good for refilling after cost. I also have a pair of Thought Ruler Archfiends. Uh, if it destroys a monster in battle, you gain life points equal to that monster's attack points that it destroyed. It requires a tuner and one or more nine. And it's... One of its better effects is that you can pay a thousand points to negate a spell trap that targets a psychic monster. It doesn't even have to be this monster necessarily. So, it's the protector and the destroyer. I also have one hyper psychic blaster. Used to have two, but didn't really have a reason to run two. Uh, requires a tuner and one or more non tuner psychics. During battle, where this monster attacks an opponent's defense position monster, it does piercing damage, and then you gain that points that he lost. So it's handy. And one Overmind Archfiend, the highest attacking Psychic in the deck, naturally. It requires a Psychic and two or more non-tuner Psychics, very specific. Uh, once per turn, you can select the Psychic in your graveyard and remove it from play. When this card is sent from the field to the grave, you special summon as many of those monsters in your grave that you banished as possible. So he is basically a reversal to Torrential Tribute, I guess. Moving to the Xyz, I have one Armored Kappa. I've been waiting forever for this monster to come out. Two level twos, which means he's perfect to use for Telekinetic Power Well. Um, once per turn, I can detach a material from him, and he gains a thousand attack or defense, my choice. During battle, on each player, on either player's battle step, if my opponent attacks this monster, 
I can attach, I can actually discard a card for the rest of this turn. My monsters can't destroy in battle, and I take no battle damage, but I can only use this effect once per duel. I also have one Chronomaly Crystal Chrononaut. Not as useful as Kappa, but it's handy. Once per turn, well, first off, it requires two level threes, and once per turn, if it's targeted for an attack, I detach a material, and for this turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects, and my opponent takes all the battle damage. So it's like Digusto Sprees for a turn. And finally, a Master of Blades. I only get one, maybe two opportunities to summon this card, but he is a powerful psychic nonetheless. He has two level sevens. Uh, during either player's turn, when this card is targeted for a card effect, I can attach a material, negate that card, I destroy that card, and then I can destroy an additional card, so it's a two for one. Very, very handy. And that's the deck in all of its entirety. Not much else really to say. This deck does decently, actually. I've come a long way with this deck since the point-paying psychics were around. And it's a lot of fun. So, that's the deck. Thanks for watching, YouTube. <laughs>